Wadi Hanifa is one of the most important natural features of Arabia. In the olden days, it was called the Ard or Ard al Yamama. The Hanifa Valley stretches over 120 kilometers through the heart of Arabia. Its importance lies in the fact that it's a source of life surrounded by the desert. The Wadi is part of a network of more than 40 main valleys and dozens of ravines which feed it with rich soil and flood water, flowing from an area of more than 4,000 square kilometers. The valley has become a fertile agricultural land where wells, springs and water sources are found in abundance. Among its famous ancient cities is Hajra el Yamama, which was famous for its rich agriculture. Other ancient cities of the valley, Al Uyena, Al Jabela, Manfuha, and El Hayr, also became famous. In the middle of the Islamic 8th century, the city of Diraya emerged and became the preeminent center of Nejd, the capital of first Saudi state. Since the 1970s, the rapid growth and development of the city of Riyadh, together with the absence of appropriate regulations for the protection of the valley, had a damaging impact on Wadi Hanifa, as it became a source of construction materials and a dumping ground for waste. An increase in damaging activities in the wider river basin created environmental imbalances in the valley. <laughs> ويكبون فيها الردم ما جعل حفر وجعله مطبات وجعله دراكيل الدركال يعني قد يكون الله يصير ثلاث تمتار عمقه في الأرض ويرجع يدفنونه من النفايات اللي ما هي بكويسة. Residential neighborhoods in the ravines expanded without any regard to the surrounding floodplain. Public utilities sprung up randomly. الأغنام اللي ماتت والأبقار وكلش فيها الوادي Waste from construction materials also piled up in the valley as well as burnt rubbish, hydrocarbon waste and the refuse from industrial activities, slaughterhouses, tanneries and other factories that set up in the valley. عادة وجود المصانع يأتي معها مخلفات صلبة أو مخلفات كيماوية أو أصباغ فكانت طبيعة الحال ترمى في الوادي. The water system became disrupted as a result of the depletion of groundwater and pollution. Highly toxic marshes and brackish ponds and lakes were formed. Vegetation became depleted. The quality of urban life deteriorated. The traditional rural population was badly affected and agricultural activity decreased. جت مرحلة لا نستطيع البقاء مطلقا هنا. ولذلك هجرنا المناطق دي، هجرناها مطلقا. Over time, the situation in the wadi deteriorated and these problems became a serious health and environmental hazard. 
in order to protect the valley and establish a positive balance between the valley and its surroundings. The Ariad Development Authority declared the valley an environmentally protected area under its direct control. The High Commission for Development of Ariad enforced urgent measures to remove the sources of pollution and most of the industrial activities, halting removal of soil and stopping dumping waste, defining floodplain boundaries and limiting placement of utilities services, in addition to monitoring its environment and the issuance of guidelines and regulations. In 2003, the High Commission produced the Comprehensive Master Plan for the Wadi to be used as a rule for all future development. The rehabilitation project was the basis upon which the rest of the strategic plan was to be built. The rehabilitation project covers an area of 80 kilometers from the north of Amaria Road to the south of El Hayer. As a first step in the rehabilitation phase, the authority wanted to rid the valley of the waste which has disturbed its ecological balance and robbed it of its natural beauty. 10 million square meters of the valley were cleaned and half a million cubic meters of garbage and construction waste and soils saturated with toxic substances and harmful plants and weeds were removed. Then, work began on the reshaping of the geometry of the valley to control the drainage of permanently flowing waters, seasonal inundations and floodwaters. For this purpose, dangerous soil mounds in the main course of the valley were removed and the valley bed was properly leveled to ensure a permanent linear tilt towards the southern direction and a horizontal tilt towards the middle of the valley. The permanent water channel, which was constructed along the 57-kilometer distance from Erka in the north to the wetlands of El Hayer in the south, is part of a plan to drain out stagnant waters. The sides of the channel were covered with stone and natural weirs were formed. A main water treatment plant was built in the Atika area, where the flowing waters are subjected to an intensive round of bio-treatment before they flow through the channel towards the south. This station has become an attractive addition to the valley. As part of the overall rehabilitation of the valley, the authority created and paved a 41-kilometer-long pathway as a utility corridor to contain the new and some of the existing networks of public utilities serving the valley and its farms. The rehabilitation project also aimed to restore the natural beauty of the valley through the relocation of all the aerial networks of telephone and electricity lines underground over a distance of 30 kilometers as well as conversion and replacement of all utility systems that were incompatible with the permanent water channels or with the required geometry for the flow of flood water. In order to serve the farms and the local traffic on both sides of the valley, a new network of roads was constructed covering more than 42 kilometers, including more than 30 crossings and culverts at the intersection with the permanent water channel. The project also included the construction of more than 45 kilometers of footpaths. An integrated system of branding and signage was developed, incorporating a series of public information and interpretive panels. As part of the environmental rehabilitation of the valley, nine zones have been identified and developed as public parks. These include areas that are on the valley and areas that overlook it from the higher ground alongside the valley. To restore the natural environment and beauty of the valley, the authority's rehabilitation project included a comprehensive planting scheme. 
appropriate and local species were used, which would maintain the valley's water balance, restore the vegetation cover, and enable the revegetation of wastelands. Suitable species were cultivated and mature trees transplanted from other areas of the valley, which would have been destroyed by urban expansion in accordance with a detailed landscape master plan. The works carried under the project of environmental rehabilitation of Hanifa Valley constitute a part of a much wider overall program. Future projects envisage the development of other important sites for wildlife and flora in the wadi. The area of the lakes of El Haya and upstream valleys are natural reserves in the regions of El Haya, Leben and Haisia. The comprehensive plan for the development of Hanifa Valley was internationally recognized for its pioneering role in the field of environment and water resources management and development. The project has received worldwide recognition. In 2003, it was awarded the first prize by the Water Center in Washington, chosen from a short list of 75 projects submitted by 21 countries. In 2007, the project also won the Golden Award from the International Awards for Livable Communities as part of the best project from amongst 160 projects submitted in the field of environment and water resources conservation. Here is the Hanifa Valley, beckoning with its natural beauty, plant and vegetation. It has now been restored to become a natural outlet for floodwaters and represents a strategic source of clean water for agricultural and industrial uses. Its natural resources now invite utilization and investments in the various fields of agriculture, tourism and leisure. We will not jeopardize the future of coming generations for the comfort of the present generation. Similarly, we will not impose suffering on the present generation for the comfort of future generations. We will create a balance between the present and the future for the benefit of all. Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz